On Saturdays, we normally spend the time cleaning the house, and I always enjoy cleaning. I don't really know why, but it's always nice to see how a messy space can clean up nicely, and I always like to keep my room in order and clean. I'm still planning to like, redo my room, maybe in the future with some minor, not really big investments, but uh, to give it like a cozy vibe. I feel like my aesthetic changed a lot over the years from being like very sick, very um, a bit more hype, more gamey vibe to a more comfort vibe, more loft vibe, I don't know. I'll show some pictures of uh, inspirations I've had in my Pinterest board. After cleaning the house, I finally ate something. Look at this. Infinity. Infinity. And honestly, today I didn't really have a lot in my planning. I really want to stay in and work on some stuff. I decided to script like two YouTube videos. I'm trying to really pursue my YouTube channel this time and really focus, especially with all the investments I've made. Feels like a waste to not uh, be focused with my YouTube channel at the moment. And also with TikTok, I've literally grown a lot after the few videos I've been posting and the more like higher quality videos. So I'm planning to put up a video there soon and also my Instagram account to put on new fresh content. And uh, yeah, that's it. I finally upgraded my camera gear after having a lot of struggles with low light situations with my kit lens the 16 to 54 55 millimeters of Sony I honestly had a lot of difficulty because the f-stop only goes to 3.5 which isn't very high if you compare it to low light situations so I finally got myself and decided it's time for me to actually invest in some new items and I got myself the new lenses I first originally got myself the Sigma 16mm with 1.4 but after seeing how it actually was, it was a great lens, don't get me wrong, it was a good lens and everything but um, I got myself several other parts, I'll show you guys later, and um, it just didn't seem like the right investment so I decided to do some research, I did a ton of research over the past few weeks, I watched a lot of videos, YouTube videos, trying out, seeing what other people had and I might choice went to the Tamron 17 to 70 millimeters with f 
2.8 which is great for low light situations and because it is a zoom lens it actually works really good for the various shots, mid shots, close ups and everything that I want to start doing in my vlogs. But I want to have some more attention to detail in the vlogs that I'm going to be uploading from now on. And secondly, I also got myself some new gear which helps me for recording outside because I noticed if I went outside, honestly, the footage was very um, overexposed, the, my skies were always blown out, either my highlights were very sharp and harsh, so I decided to get myself some new, a new filter. So I'll give you guys a list of things I got. I got myself four different things. First of all, a new lens that helps me into shoot in low light situations, especially with the winter that's coming up. And I got myself uh, the Nisi Swift Kit filters. And uh, I also got myself a UV filter which protects my lens. And I got myself some stepper rings KNF which helps me to, um, yeah, if I have like in cameras you have have different thread sizes and the lens I'm shooting on right now is a 62 millimeter thread size and in order for me to have like um, to use other filters I decided to get bigger filters for my camera I can use step up rings to adjust it to fit the lens hope that explains it well the lens that I got now the Tamron 17 to 70 millimeter 2.5 actually great I already shot some shots as you can see there are some more variations in my shots and I can see that it's actually great only down point that is is that there's a little bit of vignetting on my videos because of the step up rings and the filters but other than that it's pretty good and the only uh, the other thing is that it's a bit heavier compared to my compact lens like the other lens that i have right now is like this small and it's not that big and um with this one it's a whole switch up i think this one is like 500 grams so it's a bit heavier on, on the heavier side than the other lens that I had, but for the content that I want to shoot, it's 100% worth it. And a lot of creators that I follow had VND filters, which basically acts like sunglasses for your camera. So um, I decided this was a good investment for the kind of short content I want to start shooting, because I want to start going more outside, stop recording in the four corners of this house, and try to like go out and try different angles in my video sections and video stuff. So I got myself the Nisi Swift Kit System, and which, in, which includes the True Color ND Vario 1.5 stops filter, Swift ND 16 4 stops gray filter, Black Mist 1.4. A lot of YouTubers that I follow had this dreamy, dreamy look on their videos. So I decided to buy myself a mist filter too, and of course the lens cap. I think I, oh, I don't have it here. I have it here. The lens cap, which I can cover the camera lens with, and uh, adapter ring where I can put the filters on and the filter case, of course. These camera equipment that I got cost me some money, but it was pretty, I can't say the budget. I decided to go not with two expensive things and also keep in mind with what I need, etc. etc. But now that the investment has been made, it's time to create some great videos. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy them. So for dinner we had some jello fries, my mom cooked it. Amazing. I also had a glass of red wine just to chill out. I didn't drive, don't worry. I made it a promise to myself I won't ever drink. If I drink, I won't drive. I made that promise to myself. So she was dropped off and she had a youth service, so I didn't decide to go this time. But I hopefully next time I'll join her. And I always like to do my skincare in the evening, honestly. Uh, Saturday I normally try to also put a mask on every single week. I try to do that every single week. My face masks are almost finished so I need to go restock soon. But uh, I can see that my skincare has really improved. My skin has really improved over the past few months since I got myself a tester. 
and maybe I'll create another video on that if you guys are interested. My skin has always been very, say I have not really had the clearest skin, but I can see that over the past few months with using the products that I have, it definitely cleared up and later on I watched some Proud Family with my sister and uh, then I also watched finish the season 3 of Top Boy and please, what was that ending? Was that supposed to be... The ending was... I gotta be very honest, I preferred season 1 and 2 more than season 3. Season 3 was very, very mid. We waited a whole year for just 6 episodes and I feel like it wasn't uh, on the same level as season 1 and season 2. Let me know if you watch Top Boy and what your thoughts on where on this uh, latest season. And then at the end of the day, at the end of the evening, I always like to chill out. Honestly, today I was really tired. I even napped when I watched, was watching Proud Family with my sister. And um, I played some Valorant, just a quick swift play and spike rush. And I wanted to play comp, but I decided to go to bed because I was too tired. And I was watching a new movie, Ghibli movie, Ocean Waves. And honestly, this movie is so nice. The way they directed it and the aesthetic of the way they established scenes and everything really inspired me from my YouTube channel. And I will definitely be trying out the same techniques or the way they film. And uh, yeah, then I went to bed. Thank you guys for watching this new video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.